We've reached that point in the business cycle where it really pays to own the stocks of companies that do dramatically better when the economy puts on a full head of steam, which is why I want to introduce you to RPM International. Just, uh, just RPM for you, home gamers. A maker of paints, coatings, roofing systems, sealants, and adhesives for both consumer and maybe more important industrial end markets. Some 30% of RPM sales are related to the U.S. housing market. Another 26% come from commercial construction, which is beginning to rebound in a big way. You might know them as Rust-Oleum, DAP, or plastic wood, but the consumer segment is only the tip of the iceberg here, 35% of the business. Now, RPM just reported yesterday morning the company delivered a terrific quarter again with earnings coming in at 48 cents per share, three cents better than expected. Revenue is roughly in line at plus 5.3% uh, percent year over year and stronger margins in its industrial segments represents the bulk of the business. On top of that, RPM is seeing healthy adoption of its new products. There are many. Its European business, which so many were so worried about, is growing nicely and the company gave solid guidance for its full 2014 fiscal year. Stock jumped more than a dollar yesterday in response in today's week. Is, eh, I gave a little bit back. Is this an overlooked story that's worth diving into right here? Let's check in with Frank Sullivan, the chairman and CEO of RPM International, find out more about how his company's doing and where it is headed. Mr. Wa Mr. Sullivan, welcome back to Man Buddy. What a delivery since I saw you last. Have Thank a seat. you. Great to be here. Frank, the stock has almost doubled since we saw you last, and I had great faith. You know why? Because your dividend was so big, and I love dividends, and it seems so safe. Talk about what it's meant to invest in your company over the long haul. So RPM was funded by my grandfather in 1947. He died suddenly. My father took an over, over an $11 million business. And in 1973, he came upon the idea of a dividend, and, and a dividend that could grow year by year as a way to return value to shareholders. Since 1973, sorry, I said since 73, when RPM was a $25 million business, uh, our strategy and structures allowed us to grow to $4.1 billion uh, and deliver $1.6 billion of after-tax capital returned to our shareholders in a growing dividend. And so it's been a very powerful model for us. Uh, today, our dividend yields about 2.3%. Uh, if you bought our stock 10 years ago, not only would you have a stock that's gone from the teens to 42, but you'd have a 7.5% yield today in cash on your original investment. And that's just important because I want people to go for the long term. Now, one of the things that you do that people don't realize, they think of tech, they think of PCs, cell phones. Everyone says, blah. How about a technology that could make it so the way we build buildings is going to be revolutionized? That's something you have in your in, in your pocket, basically. Absolutely. Our, our businesses are very focused on innovation, whether we acquire that innovation, innovate it internally, or license it. Uh, you're talking about Tough Strand. Tough Strand is a patented technology, patented by our Euclid Chemical Company. Uh, it is a combination of, uh, of polyethylene polyester fibers. Uh, these products will replace rebar. The in a heavy rebar that nobody can lift, only machines? Uh, in a cubic yard of cement, typically you'll have 300 pounds of rebar. This product to the tune of three to five pounds can replace that 300 pounds of rebar, substantially more cost efficient, no corrosion in, in, that you have in rebar, uh, and also massively time-saving for contractors because this will do the job that rebar does in 30 to 40 percent of the applications, well, and me, this I'm, will revolutionize concrete in the next decade. Okay, well, to me, this could, this is a product that could be worth the whole company. I'm trying to figure out how. I mean, I've never seen it. I've never heard of it. What is a, How could it be? I mean, basically, it's rebar is uh, fundamental to the steel industry. What's going to happen to the steel industry when this comes out? Uh, sure, Tough Strand uh, is the name of the product. Uh, companies have been trying for some time to replace rebar, and so the first product was a, a basically steel fibers. Uh, this replaces steel fibers. Okay. It's much better, uh, and again, it's patented. We've been working on it for about five years, and it was introduced to the market in the past year. Okay, now we all know Rust-Oleum. We know DAP, but you've got things like Never Wet, and I need a demonstration of what Never Wet does because this is about the technology that we can use at home, and certainly right now industrial, but maybe one day in the future. Can you show us? Sure. Never wet. This is a RPM hat. Never wet is a, uh, a product that you spray it a, on. Did you spray it? You on? spray it on. It's a two-component product. Uh, step one, uh, you put on. Uh, wait 30 minutes. Put on step two. Wait 30 minutes, and you end up with a uh, super hydrophobic uh, uh, treatment that sheds water. It works best in concrete, steel, exterior products. Uh, we've got a couple treated products here. Uh, this is what happens with, uh, for instance, some white fabric on an untreated product. Okay. Here's Looks what happens. Like a red sneaker. With okay. Never Wet. It literally oh, on, just sheds. <laughs> 
People are using this <laughs> on boots. They're using it on shoes. It's Mark actually, Zuckerberg on his hoodie, right? I mean, a billion dollar hoodie. There's the difference. It's actually not uh, uh, meant for fabric other than boots and shoes and things like that yet. We're working on it. We had a license for this product uh, in North America. We have now uh, negotiated a global license. And I think the real opportunity for us is to take this technology into OEM applications. OK, last thing I want to discuss. Um, where are we in terms of the do-it-yourself guy and the housing market in this country? Because you are levered to that to some degree. Absolutely. You know, it's been apparent to us for the last four or six quarters that while we are not in any economic boom, and, and we're looking forward to that coming back to our industrial businesses, uh, Americans are securing their jobs and homes again. So they are spending on their homes. They are investing. Uh, you can see that in the segment of retail that's doing well, and we serve that. All the major home centers, all the discounters, and so you are see, seeing people reinvesting in their homes. We are the leader in small project paint and patch repair, touch up and repair, and it's right in our wheelhouse, and we see that continuing. Well, I got to tell you, it's been a great stock for people who uh, watch the show, and it's going to continue to be so. Thank you so much to Frank Sullivan, Chairman and CEO of RPM International. Real technology for you. Stay with Kramer.